All right, so five, four, three, two, one, zero, and boom. Yes, folks, so this is the final video in this little phase of the overall series on completing the square. All right, so in this little phase, we would have dealt strictly with coefficients of x squared that were either 1 or minus 1. And this is the fourth video in this little phase here now, where the coefficient is minus 1. So we have minus x squared, blah, blah, blah. And this is the second of two videos where we have an odd coefficient of x to work on. So let us get the show running. So again, we want to take this expression in the standard form and express it over here in the vertex form. Excuse me. So just as we did prior, we would factorize here by taking the minus 1 out. So you have minus 1 by <coughs> x squared plus 3x minus 11. <coughs> and then you'd start to deal up with everything we have inside here now. So you'll get minus square brackets into x, watch it now, plus 3 over 2 squared minus 3 over 2 squared minus 11. All right? Now, we know that 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4. So, let me put it in here now. Minus x plus 3 over 2, all in brackets to be squared, minus 3 over 2 is 9 over 4. Now, if we have 9 over 4 here, and we have minus 11 over here, that it makes excellent algebraic sense to express 11 as an improper fraction with 4 as a denominator. And the only thing that could possibly be is 44 over 4. Good? So we have everything now in terms of something over 4, which then allows us to just proceed with the algebra on the top. So your next line here would be minus sign uh, x plus 3 over 2 squared, minus 9 minus 44 is minus uh, 53 over 4. And remember, of course, that the minus sign is multiplying by everything inside the square bracket here. The very next line would simply be minus into x plus 3 over 2 squared, minus 1 minus, minus 53 over 4 is plus. 53 over 4. And that there is the final solution. So again, if we need to write out the exact values of the constants there, we would have a equal minus 1, uh, h equal 3 over 2, and k equal 53 over 4. <coughs> if they ask for it, they usually do. If they don't, well then the answer ends right here. At any rate, whatever happens here, once you get to this point, you will have fulfilled the most important mandate of a situation where you have to move from here to here. And just as we did in all the previous examples like this, we're going to start off with the answer at the end, working backwards and see if we get the thing that we had at the beginning to start with. Let me check it out and see. All right, so we rub off the board. Mm -hmm. And we start. So we started off with, remember this was minus, all right? Minus into x plus 3 over 2 squared plus 53 over 4, right? And we're taking that and we're saying, if I start off with this and I work it out, if I will get that. Well, let me check it out and see. Let me check it out and see. So we take the minus sign, minus, enter. We square in this in accordance with the expansion that we went through in the very first video in this series. x squared plus 3 over 2 by 2 is 3x. 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4 minus 53 over 4. All right. Um. Right, so we go through here now and we multiply by minus 1. 
So we got minus x squared minus 3x minus 9 over 4 minus no, this is plus 53 over 4, sorry, my mistake. Plus 53 over 4, and this would be plus 53 over 4. I was watching it there, and something was telling me something was up there. No? But that was the mistake I made. All right, so just be careful with your signs there. Something as simple as writing the question out wrong could throw you off, as you would have seen there, does not. All right? And then, of course, we would get that this is minus x squared, minus 3x, minus 9 over 4, plus 53 over 4 is the same thing as minus 9 plus 53 all over 4 minus 9 plus 52 53 is the same thing as 53 minus 9 which is the same thing as 44 over 4 and of course we know that that is the same thing as minus x squared minus 3x plus 11 and that is it that is it all right so up if you if you have gotten if you would have started from scratch Started from ground zero. Started from the bottom. Started from the floor. If you would have gotten to this point in all our videos in this area, then I can assure you with a lot of confidence that you're on the right path. And all you need to do is just continue, stay the course, go right through with it. So we have a few more videos coming up with a little extra added complexity but if you're managing up to here then there's absolutely no reason why you can't go forward with it so i just want to encourage you right whoever you are wherever you are to keep working keep practicing right whatever you do for this topic in terms of your general mentality in terms of listening to what we say in terms of getting information and feedback from other people in terms of getting questions and working questions and checking the answers and, and and working your past papers and so on as you do that for this topic you do the same thing for your other topics as well and and, it, and as you do you, and as you express that particular work ethic and mentality in your mathematics then you could do that in other areas in your academic sphere and you could even take that mentality into other non-academic areas of your life. Hard work, practice, persistence, right? There's absolutely no substitute, there's no magic formula. Whatever your level of ability is, there will always be a time when you will be called upon to work and to work very hard to get the result that you want to get. All right? So take that as some little general advice going forward. As always, keep good, continue working, uh, keep following the videos, spread the word, and look out for the next video. Yik, yik.